It is September 10, 2008, when the Large Hadron Collider at the European Nuclear Research Center, CERN, goes into operation. At this point in time, the anticipation of the scientists was understandably boundless. After all, the most powerful particle accelerator of all time should help significantly to understand the individual particle world around us more precisely than ever. However, the experiments carried out so far have by no means only resulted in insightful findings. Recently, scientists announced they had come across something extremely mysterious that contradicts the laws of our physics. Since this inexplicable insight, experts have been trying to find out the exact causes, but whether their theories correspond to reality is still completely uncertain. You're wondering what this scientific riddle is all about? Then stick around until the end of today's video. Hidden Particle Worlds 10,000 scientists from over 100 countries, costs of 3 billion euros, and an excruciatingly long planning and development time. It really was a long way before the Large Hadron Collider, with a diameter of almost 27 kilometers, was completed. Located at a depth of around 100 meters in the border region of Switzerland and France, the colossal ring tunnel regularly becomes the scene of the most exciting particle experiments of our time. As already mentioned, physicists are primarily using the LHC to revolutionize our knowledge of the hidden building blocks of our universe and their interactions. But why does it actually need a giant particle accelerator? To understand this, we have to go back in time a few decades. The standard model of particle physics was developed between 1961 and 1973, the fundamental theory with the help of which all elementary particles and their interactions can be precisely described. In addition, the model allows the complete development of the cosmos to be reconstructed until shortly after the Big Bang. But this is exactly where the big hurdle lies, which scientists are currently trying to overcome. In order to answer the further questions that the standard model of particle physics inevitably raises, we have to get even closer to the origin of the universe and the laws of nature. And this is where the Large Hadron Collider comes into play. The states that are created in the oversized particle accelerator are similar to those that prevailed immediately after the Big Bang. In order to create the necessary framework conditions, protons or lead ions are accelerated to almost the speed of light and brought to collision. The particles that are created as a part of this must be examined in detail. In detail, the LHC has four crossing points, which become the scene of particle collisions. However, four large and two smaller detectors were also installed, which record the traces of the particles produced. Never before has it been possible for the experts to rush into these new, once-hidden energy areas under perfect laboratory conditions. Hunt for Higgs boson Certainly, some of you will still remember the great media excitement that prevailed before the launch of the LHC. In this regard, there was repeated talk of microscopic black holes that would arise during the experiments and would ruin our earthly homeland. But fortunately, those who really know something about the subject should be right in their reassuring remarks. Earth was not devoured by such a gravitational monster, and the use of the Large Hadron Collider, so far, resembles a roaring success story. First and foremost is the detection of the Higgs boson. The search for this key particle had kept international physicists in suspense for almost 50 years. In detail, the Higgs boson embodied the last particle of the standard model of particle physics that had not yet been definitively proven. This circumstance should finally be a thing of the past on July 4, 2012. At the time, the research teams at the CMS and ATLAS detectors announced they had found a new boson that has all the expected characteristics of the Higgs boson. How groundbreaking the evidence was becomes clear when we consider that the discovered elementary particle confirms theories with the help of which the masses of the particles that are introduced into the standard model. Or to put it another way, the detection of the Higgs boson confirms the existence of the Higgs field, which is omnipresent in the cosmos and gives the elementary particles their mass through interactions. Scientific Milestone 
Speaking of mass, the mass of the Higgs boson was completely unknown to researchers in the past. The problem, only when you know the mass of a particle do you know the energies with which particles must be brought to collision. And even in the high-energy proton collisions of the LHC offered the best conditions for successful particle search, the scientists were confronted with another obstacle. The Higgs boson only occurs in every billionth collision. And moreover, it is incomparably short-lived. Since the particle decays again after less than a trillionth of a second, it can neither be measured nor observed directly. Instead, experts must turn their attention to the characteristic decay products associated with the Higgs boson. Unfortunately, there is a catch here too. The decay products consist of the same elementary particles that are also released when other collision particles decay. In order to track down the object of particle desire in this jumble of millions of signatures, it was necessary to look out for the tiny access in the decay products associated with it. With success, the telltale trace, which the experts called the hump in the curve of the decay products, was able to be detected a good 10 years ago on two detectors independently of one another. While the sensational discovery can confidently be described as a milestone in physics, the researchers are faced with a real mystery in the case of another observation. According to our standard model, the W boson should not exist at all in its detected form. The W boson as a so-called gauge boson, the W boson embodies one of the fundamental elementary particles in the standard model. Discovered in 1983, it acts as a carrier particle of the fundamental physical forces, mediating the weak interaction together with the Z boson. Since the W boson, in contrast to the Z boson, carries an electrical charge, we distinguish between the opposite antiparticles W plus and W minus. The weak interaction, also known as the weak nuclear force or quantum flavor dynamics, is always at work when the atoms fuse or disintegrate, such as the hydrogen nucleus fusion in our sun. If we follow the standard model of physics in this regard, the W boson must embody a real heavyweight and exceed the mass of a proton by about 80 times. The experts came to this conclusion on the basis of theoretical models, which, among other things, also took into account the interaction of the Higgs boson already presented. If the relative calculations agree with reality and the standard model is correct, then the W boson must have a mass of exactly 80.357 mega electron volts, but it does not. An inexplicable result this unexpected result was revealed as part of a large-scale study by the CDF collaboration at Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. The relevant data was collected using a Tevatron particle accelerator in which protons and antiprotons collide with each other. The W bosons that are created in this way decay after a very short time into a muon and a neutrino, or into an electron and a neutrino. If the scientists now analyze the flight direction and the energies of the decay products, they can draw conclusions about the mass of the original W boson. In this regard, the researchers used a dataset that included information from more than 4.2 million such decays. Collected between 1985 and 2011, the data pool was four times larger than its predecessors, resulting in twice the statistical accuracy. In order to determine the results are as precisely as possible, the evaluation was even carried out blindly. This means that the experts involved did not even know which value they were actually checking. At the end of this ambitious project, there was a puzzling conclusion. The mass of the W boson is 80.4335 mega electron volts. What initially sounds like an unspectacular sequence of numbers becomes all the more significant when we consider the measurement result shakes out standard model of physics. No less mysterious is the fact that a few other series of tests, such as those at CERN's Large Hadron Collider, did not detect such striking deviations. Open Questions Thus, the unexpectedly high mass value of the W boson is in strike contradiction to a fundamental element of our standard model. Those experimentally observed data and theoretical considerations, which were previously considered well understood and untouchable, are now more than ever under scrutiny. Quite a few experts suspect the measurement result proves once again that our previous standard model is anything but complete and urgently needs to be revised. In the future, the main focus of scientists must 
must therefore be on initiating further experiments and solving this physical mystery. First, the results of the CDF collaboration have to be analyzed and confirmed independently again. If the high mass of the W boson withstands re-examination, it could indicate that physical processes exist that reach far beyond the standard model and are currently completely unknown to us. Possibly, according to the experts, the deviation between the predicted and the actual measured value is due to the existence of a new particle or an unknown subatomic interaction. If this indeed is the case, the researchers are confident that the causes can be uncovered in future investigations. Trinity Test Apart from the research that is being conducted at CERN, there are a few other research projects that challenge everything we know about our natural world. It is July 16, 1945, when man's destructive power reaches a new dimension. As part of the Trinity test, a nuclear weapon explosion was caused for the first time in history. At the time, those responsible decided to detonate a so-called plutonium implosion bomb on a 30-meter high tower, and despite the urgent warning from the experts, Enrique Enrico Fermi, one of the most important nuclear scientists of his time, feared that the detonation of the weapon of mass destruction could bring about the end of the world. So the Nobel Prize winner thought it possible that the massive explosion could cause a chain reaction that would ignite the entire Earth's atmosphere. Fortunately, Fermi was to be wrong on this point. At 5.30 a.m., the bomb detonated, having a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT equivalent, ripping a 330-meter-wide crater in the desert floor. In fact, the pressure wave could still be felt at a distance of 160 kilometers. The atomic mushroom towered 12 kilometers in the air. However, the U.S. military was to keep the test run a secret, and so the Trinity test was officially disguised as an ammunition dump explosion. However, this also meant that the residents in the area received no warnings. The following air, water, and food contaminations were not investigated further. It was not until August 6, 1945, the day the atomic bomb fell on Hiroshima, that the true background of the experiment was revealed. From then on, scientists tried to push the limits of their nuclear warheads even further. Such was the case in 1952 with Operation Tumbler Snapper. Back then, three nuclear weapons were dropped from airplanes to gain new information information about the effects of the blast waves. There are currently around 14,000 nuclear warheads on our planet, enough to wipe out life on Earth multiple times. The Opening of Hell during the Cold War, the superpowers of East and West tried to outdo each other in every conceivable way, regardless of whether it was military, scientific, or political. Each party to the conflict wanted to prove it was vastly superior to the other. This competition sometimes produced unusual results. The advance into the depths was no exception. In the course of the Kola Well, the Soviets penetrated an unbelievable 12,262 meters into the ground. Since 1979, the gaping abyss has been the deepest hole in the world. Officially, the drilling was carried out for research purposes. According to this, those responsible wanted to gain new insights into the Earth's crust and find out what extent water and gases occur at such a great depth. At the beginning of the 1990s, however, the work was stopped. This was due to the technical complications that the teams were confronted with. The machines simply gave up the ghost in the unexpectedly high temperatures of over 200 degrees Celsius. Unofficial Initially, however, it is rumored that the demolition of the well had a completely different background. The workers are said to have pushed open the gates of hell. Rumor has it that microphones were lowered into the borehole at the time, picking up a multitude of blood-curdling screams. According to this myth, we are fortunate that the government refrained from drilling into hell any further. So the arrival of the devil is delayed indefinitely. What do you think about the exciting experiments that are regularly carried out in the Large Hadron Collider? And do you think it's possible that the standard model of physics is incomplete? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Please also show us with a like and a subscription that you enjoyed our excursion into the mysterious world of particles. Finally, take a look at the other posts in our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the pictures in the end credits. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.